welcome back to my channel my name is rose and today i am going to be showing you guys how to make this easy pot roast recipe it's so delicious i can't wait to show you guys how it's done but before i begin if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe before you leave like the video if you enjoy it and also leave me a comment down below without further ado let's jump right into the recipe okay guys here are the ingredients i have some beef bouillon minced garlic unsalted butter for the seasoning i have paprika onion powder garlic powder celery salt and as well as some ground black pepper and on the side here i have some dry parsley and some dry rosemary and over here i have some finely chopped onion and as well as some cornstarch to make the gravy nice and thick and also we have some W sauce, as well as some olive oil. And also we have three cups of beef broth, and as well as the beef. I'm using about two and a half pound of chuck roast beef. All right guys, let's get to cooking. First thing I'm going to be doing in a hot skillet, I am going to pour in my olive oil. Just pour that in. Also, I'm going to be adding my butter in there as well. Okay, what we're going to be doing is searing this beef. Make sure it's nice and brown on the outside. That's what we're looking for. Now, you can season the beef before, before you give it that nice golden brown color. But there's no need for it because the seasoning is going to end up burning anyway. So I am going to add the beef to the hot skillet. Like I said, make sure it's extremely hot. We're going to braise the beef for about five minutes per side. Once one side is nice and golden brown, just like that, we're going to flip it over and braise the other side. Once you have both sides of the beef nice and golden brown, what you're going to be doing is placing your beef into your crock pot or slow cooker or Dutch pot, whatever you're going to be cooking this in. Now I am going to be cooking this in the oven. As you guys can see, I do have a slow cooker, but I am not going to use it. I'm going to be cooking this in the oven just because I feel like it's going to cook faster um, so we're going to add in our beef, then we're going to be adding in our dry seasoning on top of the beef, just like that. Now you can also make this in a crock pot, Dutch oven, or whatever that is oven safe. Okay, now I'm going to be adding the seasoning like I told you guys. Once you're done adding the seasoning, you're going to be adding your garlic if you have garlic puree you can use that as well and also the onion if you like you can add potatoes carrots because i wanted to eat this with some garlic mashed i decided not to add potatoes or anything else in there now for my cornstarch i am going to pour in the a little bit of the beef broth in there give that a quick stir just like that then we're going to pour that in. When I tell you this recipe is so easy, yes, it took a long time to cook, but it's so easy to put together. So we're going to pour that in just like that. Now I am going to be adding in my beef broth. Okay, just pour it in. I'm using three cups of beef broth. Then I am going to place this covered in the oven for three hours, okay? Three hours covered on 325. Do not open the oven, just let it do its thing. All right, look how well seasoned this looks, y'all. Now we're going to pop it in the oven. Don't peek. Once it is done, honey, 
this is what you have. This is the perfect Sunday dinner right here. Okay, and if you do like your gravy to be thicker, you can leave it longer, but you won't really have to because as it sit, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. Look how the meat is just falling apart, just ripping apart so easily. It's so tender in the sauce, the gravy, the aroma of this dish alone will make you want to eat it right away. Okay, so this is it, y'all. This is how quick and easy it is to make some pot roast. So easy, who would have thought? Now I'm going to be kind of shredding them apart just like that. If you're looking for a mouth-watering recipe and super easy to make this right here, I recommend it 100%, y'all. And also guys, this mashed potatoes recipe, I will leave it down below for you guys or on the card somewhere, please check it out. It's made with garlic powder, heavy cream butter. It's so creamy and so buttery. It's perfect for this recipe. Um, and basically this is the dish y'all. I hope you guys try this out because if you don't try this out, you, you're missing out. This right here is bomb. It's fire. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. And also do not forget to hit this video with a like if you did enjoy the recipe. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. <music> And look how delicious this looks, y'all. I hope you guys actually try this out because this right here is a winner. Let me know in the comment if you're going to try this out. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Also, leave me a comment below. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.